Chapel B. I'm in Dharajati country at the moment. Um, it's Bargana season, good time for fishing. And uh, I'm here with my mum, Doris Edgar, my brother-in-law, Eric, my sister, Janet. And Eric's going to catch some bait for us so we can catch the uh, salmon. And we're going to cook it on the coal, accompanied with a nice tossed salad. You just get the end of the net and throw it on your shoulder and you get how much you want. Put it on your left knee and then it's ready to throw. And when you get bait in there you can feel the net hitting and you know you get something. When this time you get nothing. The best time is uh, when the water is still, resting before it comes in. When it comes in all the bait run out. Good for frying pan. Mullet. That's one for bait. We got what? Seven. Seven. We can get seventeen seven out of it. Might be all right. When the tide gets like this, it's very hard now to get bait. We can't get any more bait now. It's all gone. So now it's called for the lines. Usually we take all our family out fishing which is good exercise and healthy way of keeping fit. Here I've got a bony herring. This is going to help me try and catch the, uh, the salmon that is running in the cold season. Bone fish is more better bait than this one, but uh, sometimes we can't get a bone fish. We use waiting. I use hand line. Hand line's good because it keeps you connected with the fish biting and you can feel it. The salmon is called Banganu. And Bangano is a Garajari word, and we're going to try and catch that today. A seven meter tide is always a uh, good tide to go fishing because then we have a little bit of movement in the uh, water. Salmon does like a little bit of movement. The murky water is also a good sign to tell us that um, fish is good and bait running in. I just missed a good bite, but that's the end result when I missed it. No bait, no fish. Woo now you got my fish, mother. I've just been beaten. I've had a couple of good bites. I'm going to hook up again. I use big bait because the salmon has got a big mouth and it swims on the bottom and it picks up the bait. Usually a big mouth hook, put it through in here, just twist it around like that, and straight down, that's all it is. Handline fishing is um, a very healthy way to go fishing, because you can bring your family out fishing, and um, even little children can go fishing. Hey, that's not fair, boy, you can't get another one. You're four to my one. Yeah, the best time for salmon is in the month of May, June and July and the beginning of August. Well, the best bait is uh, bonies, mullet. That's all the bait they use. We come here every year in this time of the year. The fish are biting because the tide's turning, so this is the best time to go fishing. The best season to catch salmon is what we call the bargana season. The bargana time is when the weather is starting to change to get nice and cold because the water will start to get really cool and the fish come upstream and into the creeks. And this is what the salmon love, it's a sandy country. They don't like, they can go near the rocks but it's mainly here because it's all open and the salmon comes into the mouth. This is what we all come for, the uh, salmon. This is what is called the banganu. And as you can see, the, the salmon's got a wide mouth. I've just hooked it in here. That's our fish. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to gut it, and I'm going to gill it. I'm going to t twist this around. It's very soft meat, and it's easy to take out. This is it. The reason I clean this out, so the blood inside doesn't go to all the rest of the flesh. I'm going to take it in a soft water and just give it a clean.
There you have it, clean, got killed and ready for eating. Here you can see three beautiful clean fish. Janet's going to wrap this in alcohol, so we're preparing it to go onto the coals in the fire. It's got beautiful white skin. As you can see, it's also a little bit of yellow that tells us that the fish is now in season. The alcohol keeps the fish clean so that when we put it on the coals, we'll cook it on a slow heat so it doesn't burn. The, uh, the mangrove has got a beautiful, strong smoking scent to it and it goes through the fish when we're cooking it. Um, it's really nice. You get the smoking aroma from the mangrove. So now we've got three fish ready to be put on the coal. The fire is uh, what we call jungle, but the coal we call abnoro. And we're making sure that the heat is right, so that we don't want the fish to burn. We want it to cook nice and slow. One more. And it's gonna take 10 minutes on each side. Uh, Janet's just gonna now do a tossed salad. A little bit of green, a little bit of red, nice color to make your salad very interesting. I'm opening it up now. See how the skin peels off? And now we're gonna have a nice feed of fresh salmon and fresh salad. Eric, yeah. and he's happy with that. The tail end of the fish is that, you know, we give a lot of kids that too because there's no bone there. And also this part in the back of the fish on top there. You can't beat fresh fish, fresh salad. This is all healthy, good tucker.